It's Wednesday. It's about 61 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very breezy. It's supposed to be warm tomorrow, then rain Friday and get really cold. So this may be the last halfway decent day to be outside. Have some errands to run. Going to get some cookies for my mother's birthday, which is tomorrow. She likes a certain kind of cookies they have at Trader Joe's. They're little oatmeal cookies. And while I'm down at Trader Joe's, there's a couple of different ones. One of them's near Habitat for Humanity, so I'm going to go there to the ReStore and see if they have a piece of plastic, hard plastic, or something that will suffice for my front door instead of making it look like white trash, like, I, <laughs> like it looked last year. So I'll go down there, and uh, what else? I need gas for the car. We'll see. I know approximately where it's cheaper, which is not around here. So I will be going past the area where it's cheaper, so who knows. It's uh, going to be a, an errand day, and I'd like to get the things done before the afternoon drive, before the people get off work and the highways are full of idiot drivers. There's already enough idiot drivers out there now, so... Oh, let's go. Look at these cool looking pumpkins. These buildings that you see are on Kings Highway. North of here on Kings Highway it becomes a really bad neighborhood and area. They call it the North City. It's really bad. There's always murders there. And problems every single day. Excitement Cancer Center and Children's Hospital, Barnes Jewish Hospital, that's what these big buildings are, they're hospitals. Really nice fancy schmancy hospitals and then uh, they're tied in with Washington University's medical program. I'm not sure where where he's going. He might be going to the hospital. I'm at a red light. Oh, I don't know. Maybe about a mile down the street is IKEA and the Restore Habitat for Humanity Restore. This area right through here is called the Central West End. There's a cat clinic over there. Hmm, right next to a Chinese food place. Well, oh, that. I wonder where they get their meat from. What a jerk. You see the arch ahead there? There's a like a silo shaped building and then to the left you see the top of the arch. Then over here is Ikea where I'm going to get some jam. And then a couple blocks down I think is the ReStore. It's been a while since I've been here. Habitat for Humanity ReStore. Lavender toilet. Pretty cool. Okay, you will have a good day. And now with my handy tape measure, I'm gonna see if they have anything that'll work. I think I found it. It's not surrounded with dark brown like my door, but I don't care. It's glass and it has the right dimensions. I don't think it'll be too much. Let's buy it. Hope it doesn't break on the way home. When it rains, it pours. You ever heard of that expression? All of a sudden, all kinds of bad stuff's happening. I have just stocked up for the next month, so I don't have to go out and buy any food except maybe milk or eggs or something, but I don't think I'll even need that. Earlier today I went in the refrigerator to when I was cooking supper about 6 p.m. Uh, eight hours ago. 
And uh, the refrigerator has a light. The freezer does not. So the refrigerator light was not lit and I thought, oh poop. I'll have to get a bulb at the hardware store in the morning. So later on, wrapping up the evening, taking care of stuff, putting stuff away, I went into the freezer to get some ice cream to reward myself for doing such a good job. And it's like a milkshake. I'm like, oh crap! The refrigerator is not working. So, luckily the grocery store has dry ice. So I bought a couple chunks so I'm going to break it up and put it over here in the refrigerator. been looking online at Craigslist and there's two refrigerators where they want one guy wants $125 cash the other wants $145 cash and they're both in the same neck of the woods or a good 45 minute drive from here but they're in decent neighborhoods so I'm assuming that they work and that they're clean and they're just refurbishing their house and want a better fancier refrigerator the contact I couldn't email them said to text. I don't really have a way to text. I have a, like a little government phone where you have to press one four or five times to get a C or an A or a B. Or... So I texted both numbers and I got a beep beep back on my phone saying one of them is a landline and not textable. So I don't... I think that's the one that's cheaper that I would really rather have. It does not have an ice maker so the refrigerator... the freezer part's bigger. The one with the ice maker in the freezer uh, obviously is going to have less room in there. I don't know. I'm going to need Richard's help. I'm going to need Richard's help with his truck. They're working on the road in front of their house, concreting it. I also need to do my brakes. I was thinking of taking it to a shop, but now with the refrigerator deal, I'm going to have to do them myself. Which means Richard's going to have to help. It's very complicated. And today is going to be a nice day. And I had lots of plans on stuff. I found a window to fit the front door thingy. I was going to work on that. Hang out some laundry and do some outside -y stuff. No. It's the whole day's shot. <laughs> and it's Mom's birthday! She turns 91. I bought some cookies for her, and when I went to get the cookies, they didn't have the exact kind she liked, oatmeal raisin, but they had oatmeal chocolate chips, so I got those. Man, I tell you, like I said, when it rains, it pours. I'm going to try to break up some of this ice and put it in the freezer. Oh, criminy. Some bugs. Here's what it looks like. It comes in giant cooling time. Woo! These are thin gloves and holy schmoly, that's cold. Scissors that I keep in the kitchen. Woo. I have pieces of the dry ice I'm putting in here in various places. I'll be loading it up with all the dry ice that I have. I ordered two pair of reading glasses from readers.com and they came right away but I think they're too small. These are the Tallulah 
Ooh, I don't like them. I'm going to see if I can send them back. I think they're way too small for my face. Anyway, these are small for my face too. These are the garland from the movie star line. Ooh, what do you think? These are better than the other ones? As in, who knows? But it, either one, both of them aren't exactly what I was hoping for. At least the blue ones are okay. They're tolerable. But that and the, the refrigerator breaking down and needing breaks and time running out and oh my god. Talk about life never being dull. It might be awful, but it's never dull. Never, ever dull. I have a very exciting life for a very boring person. <laughs> Hopefully Richard's available. Hopefully one of those refrigerators is available. I'm going to have to wait till like 8 in the morning to call. I have, what, 6 hours from now. It's like after 2 in the morning. So I'm... What is it? Trepidation? Is that the word? I don't want to run to the dictionary to look. It sounds like it might be the right word. <laughs> uh, yeah, today is just going to be jam-packed. So, we'll see what happens. I'll let you know <laughs> what happens later today. <laughs> oh my god. I need to win the lottery. Just enough to pay off all my debts, get a new car, maybe a little spare if I want to move someplace or something, you know. I don't need millions and millions and millions. Just enough to put me at an even starting point to finish the rest of my days, which seem fewer and fewer every day. <laughs> they are, actually. Yeah. Upward and onward.